So I'm really struggling with getting this message out. Um, and I'm just gonna go and talk about this. So I, this morning I turned on the news and I flipped it on and almost everything that I saw was very discerning and you know, it didn't make me comfortable. And I think about this sort of state of looking at the world around us. And I could think all the way back until probably the fall of the Berlin Wall, that things just progressively have become a lot more complicated. And there's almost seems like there's just this weird death spiral that's been happening globally, right? That have, um, you know, there's a lot of dis disconcerting trends that have been occurring for many, many years now. And much of this stuff is pretty predictable. I remember reading about the sort of, not only the political nature that's happening in the United States, but geopolitics and all of that kind of stuff many years ago, that this was really forecastable, that this was gonna happen. All those sort of weird trends that are happening. But, um, you know, this is the message that I wanted to get out, is that yes, it's Groundhog Day. Yes, that there's, all this really weird stuff that's going on that we've all experienced and we've all seen in the last few years. But um, my message that I wanted to say, all of that stuff's going on and I am not happy about any of it. And, and this message is not to be complacent. That's not what I'm saying at all with, with anything that's going on, but... Um, I have to ultimately, when I look at all these things and I think, oh my gosh, that's happening? What the heck's going on there? Um, I have to come back to what's actually going on in my life. And I know that not everybody can say that. I'm well aware of that. That's why I'm struggling with this message because a lot of the things are affecting the disconcerting trends. Many of them are affecting real people going through real things. Um, but, you know, the only thing that I can think about at this moment to sort of say, and, and part of it's a bit of a reaction to, you know, man, this is bizarre. <laughs> like, truly bizarre. The only thing that I could do is go into my cocoon and think about, hey, I'm just walking my dogs right now. That's it. Just walking my dogs. And I know lots of people might... Um, you know, they, they might have sort of beefs with me walking dogs and all of that kind of stuff in the neighborhood that I'm in and the path that I'm on and all this kind of stuff. I realize that. Um, but, you know, I have to come back to that. It's just me and my dogs and that's it. And I'm trying to live as peaceful and a kind and generous life as I possibly can. And... And I think that's the only thing I could possibly do. Yes, I'm well aware. I'm probably fairly literate with what's going on in the world. But I have to come back to the sort of peacefulness and, and calmness. And I think that's the only way that you can sort of survive and get through a lot of chaos. I mean, I think about people that have gone through moments of war, for example, and they don't sit there and think about all of the sort of chaos that's going on around them. You can't, right? The chaos is there, yes. And you see it and you see atrocities and all that kind of stuff. But ultimately, the only thing that really matters is you just hanging out, doing your thing. Maybe you have a dinner with your family. Maybe you celebrate something, a, a birthday. Maybe you um, you know, go on a little trip someplace to go see something. Maybe you play uh, some cards, whatever, right? That's the only thing that we have, I think that keeps us human whenever there's a lot going on. And um, I think we have to sort of reflect on this because it makes us a little bit more human and it makes us a little bit more, in, in my view, I think that makes us more calmer and more sane. <laughs> um, and where we could sort of approach things in a more systematic way, in a more thoughtful way. I have thought about this a lot. That, and, and you, know, you 
might even go back many years. Where people have thought about the power of going for walks for many years, you know, thousands of years, where you go out and maybe you go and do a rite, rite of passage, for example, where you go out in the woods and you spend a couple of, you know, a week out there and you try to find yourself. I think that there is some power to all of that, where you just step away from it and you come back and you are up to settle and tackle the world again. And I, I need to reflect and I reflect on, and, it, and it's no excuse for anything that's going on that is just really weird and disconcerting. And I'm not gonna mention any of those kind of things because my views are probably slightly different than your views. But um, th what I reflect on is the fact that we live, most of us live in such a pros prosperous time that just a few generations ago, almost all of us would have been under some very difficult hardship. Um, living in countries that were very repressive, for the most part, the world has become freer, the world has become less oppressive, um, the, the world has been caring about human rights. Having a conversation about human rights is a conversation that didn't exist a hundred years ago. People did not care about that kind of stuff. That was, that was, that was just not a thing. So I think like we need to reflect on that and we need to start thinking about like, hey, you know, Yes, the world is, there's some craziness. Um, but, but at the same time, um, we need to reflect on the fact that we're calm for the most part. Most of our life is put together. And even if there's chaos that's going on, right? Like you, you watch these people that are in a, in a city that's getting bombed. They're still going and going to work they're still having dinner and they can hear the bombs going off in the background and maybe they're, you know, playing cards in a bomb shelter, but they're still trying to live life. And I think that's where we need to come to and think about is, it's about these little simple things every day. It's, if you get wrapped up in, in all of the chaos that's going on, man, it eats you up. Um, I think you do your best to prevent that chaos from happening, but then you just keep taking steps forward. And you try to enjoy life one little bit at a time. That's it, a little simple stuff. I think that's the only message that I can say, given everything that's gone on over the last few years that, man, it's very discerning, but, um, live your simple life. Live a calm, peaceful life. And I encourage you to go for walks. They are nothing but a present from God or the gods. Um, and just live a simple life. Come back to that as much as you can. As much as it boils you up. The things that are going on. Maybe it's just me that gets boiled up with all these weird things, but... Come back to that simple life. Go have a campfire. Go play some cards. Go have a nice bottle of wine with a friend. Just do simple stuff. That's it. That's it. This is my message. All right, take care and have a wonderful day.